Um, Lee, this is Anne from Red Beanie Blog, and I really appreciate you taking the time to um, talk to me tonight. And so um, I had some questions that a lot of your fans had sent in, but I thought before we started that, uh, I would see if there was any news about your upcoming album or your tour. I know everyone's really excited to hear any piece of news you have about that. Yeah, totally. Um, you know, I definitely have to say that I appreciate um, not, I mean, everything um, you've done, obviously, and, and, and I'm happy to talk to you. And, and um, I've been wanting to do this interview uh, because I want to keep, you know, fans and, and everybody um, that's been so supportive updated on, on what I'm doing. So um, I do have some uh, some cool news, so I'll be able to share that with, uh, with you. Um, as far as the album goes, you know, I know that's been like a big question, and, I, and I've done a couple other interviews recently where everyone's like, you know, when's this album you've been talking about coming out? And, you know, every, everyone seems to love the music, um, you know, and, and it's, yeah. it's, it's a really good feeling right now. Um, not only with me, but with my management and, um, you know, the people we're talking to. But um, nonetheless, there there will be music put out um, soon. Um, I know everyone hates to hear me say that word soon, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, they, they they always want, what's the date, what's the date, you know. I know and I want to give everybody a date, too, but, you know, I, I've really taken my time on this album, and I really put, like, my whole heart and soul into it, and um, it's not going to be out until it's perfect and so um perfectly me and let me let me um, ask you this are you still writing songs for the album or is that pretty much finished as far as your song selection i you know i'm kind of a person that doesn't want to you know it's almost like if it's it's not broke don't fix it kind of thing right Uh, you know i i sit there and i have all these songs and i'm like this is awesome i have the album it's perfect it's done and then at the same time, it's not ever done, you know. So right. I'm really more or less like um, just making sure that I've got all of the creative, the creativeness out of me and, and, and um, that needs to be put on this album. And, and that's when the album's going to come out. It will be this year, and it'll be sooner than later. And I'm really excited for everybody to uh, to hear it and, and, and to get it out there because it's, it's been – you know, a long road making this uh, record, and I'm just really excited about it. Well, I think that there's been nothing but good response over the acoustic clips that you've uh, put up on Kelly.com. Um, people have loved that, and so I know that if that's a reflection of the album, I think that the album is going to do very well. Um, and you, I know, are working on some live shows that you are uh, going to be doing soon it sounds like uh maybe before the end of the year uh yeah i will be doing i will be playing um, quite a few live gigs before the end of the year um and that's really to just get out there see the fans play this new music and and uh, get back on the road again because you know being a touring artist is something that i really um look forward to and and enjoy and um just getting out there and playing at these awesome venues um for for all the fans and uh we're really trying to spread it out. I mean, we'll be doing shows in New York, Chicago, Nashville, uh, Los Angeles, and, and, and everywhere in between um, over about a four-week period. And I'll, oh, I'll wow. definitely, oh, yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty fun. Um, and I'll definitely be posting, um, you know, I think there's Texas. I mean, there's there's quite a few places we're stopping. But uh, I'll be posting the dates on Facebook and Twitter in the next couple of weeks. And, uh, you know, we've already got a great response from the from the, from the promoters and the people we're working with and, and – um, you know, my booking agent's been incredible, um, and we've had a really good time doing it. And, uh, you know, also working with 19 and, and uh, my manager, uh, Brett, you know, that we've all just been really, um, really focused on on on, uh, on more of a career-based, um, you know, plan than, than just, you know, hey, guys, here's some music, peace out. You know, we really, uh, we, meaning everybody and myself, um, really want to, uh, to establish, you know, what it is that I'm about, what I'm here to do, and what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life, which will be, you know, getting out there, writing music, performing music, putting out records, and, and just getting on the road. So I'm really excited to get back out and, and play for the fans and, and show them, um, you know, the new stuff. And, uh, you know, it'll be... Well, it'll I don't, be, you can't do a live tour without going to Chicago, right? Oh, no, we're going to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go to Chicago. We're going I mean, to that's kind of your home, yeah. home stomping grounds. And you said New York, Los Angeles. So we're in metropolitan cities, it sounds like. 
Yeah, and you know we've got some great venues lined up, and um, you know the best the best part about it for me is that um, you know I'm gonna be able to see the fans. You know I, I get so many responses and people saying, you know, play, play here, play here, play here, and I really have taken those into account, and and I'm gonna try to hit as many of them as I can, um, you know, without um, without going crazy uh, as far as you know routing wise. It's it's always you got to keep that in mind, but. Um, we're doing the best we can to get as many spots as we can um, for as many fans as we can. And, of course, I'll be bringing Lincoln along with me, so it's going to be a really good time. Nice. Um, and you've got, coming up later this month, you're going to be working with the um, Stage It uh, folks again and the, uh, what is it, Playing for Change Foundation yeah, and doing really, another show? Yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, you know, I, when they approached me about it, it was uh, – and I found other artists were involved, and, and I, I read what it was about, and I, I did my research, and it's really cool. Um, it's uh, it, it's really neat that, you know, there's artists like Sarah Bareilles and other people that are involved in it. So I, I, I was all over it, and uh, it's just a great opportunity, and definitely to, to have all the proceeds go to them is going to be a great thing because, uh, you know, I love doing charity work as people, as people I think know. I love helping where I can and, and doing things for a good cause, so I'm really excited about doing that. And that's going to be, let's see, September 25th at 6 p.m., and they have you slated for a 40-minute uh, show. And for my understanding, just from what I read briefly, that's, that is um, kind of keeping arts and the musics in schools and in rural areas and programs for kids, right? Exactly. Yeah, that's a great cause. So, you know, it's, it's, um, it's really about kind of kids, kids, it's, it's, it's you know, and they're kind of their motto. What it's about is just connecting the world through music, and 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 I and I think it's a great thing to have so many artists coming out to do this, and uh, it's really cool. And I'll be doing a yeah, I'll be doing a forty minute set, and um, it's gonna be just me and and playing playing songs that I know people want to hear, and uh, you know, a couple covers and just some some cool fun things and and some stuff people have never heard. So it's gonna be fun. And all of that uh, money uh, goes to the charity. Is that correct? Yeah, all the pro, all the pro, yeah, it's it's a pay what you can all the thing. So, so we want people to just you know pay whatever you can to help the cause and and um, in return you know I'm going to be playing some some music for you guys and and I'm and I'm really excited to do it. I mean I, I really when they asked me to do it I was you know over the moon about it and um, you know like you were saying earlier about posting songs and stuff um, you know that's not stuff that I, I do you know for any other reason that I you know I'm literally sitting here and. You know, the, to not sound cliche, but the music's in me. I want to get it out, and I turn on my video, and I and I start playing, and I get it out there. And and um, people like Telly.com and all those people, you know, who've shown support, you know, I, it's appreciated. And, and 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 the fans that, you know, retweeted and re- posted and request songs, I love that. You know, it, it keeps me motivated, and uh, you know, I'm glad to be able to do that 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 for for everybody. Yeah, I saw that the um, the last one you posted called uh, Bedroom Door. Um, now. That got really great response, and I saw that it had been on a lot of other websites. Was that song, you had said that it had a little more of a southern flavor. Was that song one of the songs that you wrote when you were in Nashville performing? No, that's actually, um, I wrote, believe it or not, <laughs> that's one I wrote when I was in Los Angeles. And, um, you know, that the, what, what brought that song about at all was really just... Um, is I was kind of sitting there and 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 just thinking about you know um, I think I was watching a movie or something and and it just kind of came to me you know that feeling and whether it be in a relationship or a friend you know that situation right. where you're in when you're in a room with somebody and it's just you're so close but you're so far away kind of thing and um, right you know and it's just it's just one of those songs that that it's almost like you can feel the end is is near but you but you wish there's more you could do about it and you and you see you reach for solutions and suggestions and it's all about going through the emotions of it and um you know at the end of the song when it just says you know you left in bed and door open and it's easy song again and you like and i leave it at that it's because it's almost like you're stuck in that it's it's repetitive it keeps happening and, and so i wrote that song and it, I, re, I wrote it in one night and um it's actually you know one of john john's favorite songs she's always like that yes, well, i really like it too no, I'm glad. I'm glad. I was really, I was kind of, res- I was re- kind of reserved at first about playing it, um, because you know I didn't know if I wanted to, re- you know, put it out there in the cyber world, um, just me and the guitar like that. But you know, it seems to be the way people like to hear me, so I, I, I love doing it that way, and I'm glad. I, I'm glad that people like it so much. 
Well, I do. I do think that you have a reputation of being kind of the master of the acoustic performance, if you will. You know, um, right, I and think I that, that I want that. Like, I want that title. Like, I like that title, not because I think that I am, but because my whole life, from from you know the first time I picked up a guitar till now, it's always been about um, the moment for me. It's always about being in that moment, and you can hear a lot of people pick up a guitar and play, and and you're hearing a song. And that's what it is. You're hearing a song, and that's and that's great. But when you can pull somebody in, and and feel the emotion, and I really do like to like when I'm singing a song. A lot of I get a lot of uh, you know, open your eyes more. Why are your eyes closed? And all that stuff. And a lot of the time, that's because I really genuinely put myself in that song. And You're singing from the heart. I'm singing. I'm singing from from whatever I'm singing about. I'm I'm there. I'm in it mentally and physically. I'm I'm in that moment. So for me, I just kind of get lost in it and um. You know, I love that. I love the intimate the intimate feeling. I love being able to connect with an audience, and I love um, putting, you know, and I've said it a million times, and I'll say it again, I love putting every ounce of emotion into my into my, into my my set. That's, you know, when I play a gig and I get off stage, you know, I'm, I'm coming off of a serious, like, high. Because yeah. realistically, you know, I was just in another place, and, you know, and that's, and that's where I like to be when I'm doing those types of things, whether it be a show or just posting something. So um, I love, you know, I love the, the idea of, of me being, you know, the acoustic guitar, that guy I can sit down and play and pull you in because that's what I love. And that's where I can connect with, um, you know, all of these incredible fans that I have. And, and it's just, it makes it so, it's so great. Well, that actually kind of takes me into the first fan question really nicely. Um, it's from uh, Dewise Fan Six. These are all off of uh, your Twitter fan base, and she said, "What do you enjoy most about music? Writing, performing, recording, collaborating, or okay, okay um, recording or collaborating? Oh, and where would you your happy place be five years down the road? Where would my happy place be five years down the road?" Right, and then she asked, what, what do you like the most, writing, performing, recording, or collaborating? Well, well they're all, you know, they're all definitely different ball games. Um, because a huge thing for me is that I love writing, not just for myself, for other artists. And I know, you know, um, everyone knows, you know, I, I had that um, the song Lullaby, my cut got uh, originally Hummingbird, but Lullaby on Ronan's album. And um, for me, that's, I'm just as passionate about that as I am as I am writing for myself. And Not that because, album's doing very well, I see. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. I mean, it was an honor, you know, after him being um, kind of on a on a vacay for for six years, putting out a you know an album. It was um, it was an honor to, to have them come to me and say, "We love this song of yours." And um, you know, there were so many songs that could have made that album, and uh, you know, mine was one of them. And I'm and I'm really happy about it. And uh, you know, he did it justice, and I'm really, really excited about it. You know, he had he added his own uh, flavor to it. But for me, I'm just as passionate about writing for other people as I am myself because, you know, I think that music is a form of expression, and, um, you know, to be able to write something and have someone else um, be singing the words and feeling the emotions the way I do or in their own way, um, I, I love it. And I love, you know, I want writing for other artists and, and just writing in general to be... Um, you know, a, a, a separate career of mine that I have. and um, But, I, I mean, if I had to pick a favorite thing, I, I think my favorite thing to do is it would be a tie between um, writing and performing, um, you know, for myself. I, I love I love the writing process. Sometimes it gets really frustrating because, um, you know, you write, it's almost like writing these mini stories. And, um, you know, every story you want to have a happy ending. Um, right. And, and, they, and, and they don't always have that. And so you write right. with your small you know, you're writing this thing, you know, you're writing this thing that doesn't exist. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there's other songs about love and there's other songs about this and that. But when you write your a song, an original song, um, it's it's really, you know, it, you're putting something in the atmosphere that doesn't exist yet. And so right. when you're doing that, for me, I just take it, you know, I really take it to heart. And, um, you know, I try to put out the best thing that I can um, and, and get whatever message I'm trying to get across, you know, my way to do that. But I think, Performing live um, is probably my favorite thing, just because I like connecting with the audience, and um, I think just being able to see the faces and and hear and hear the responses and see the emotions and 
and to be able to pull people into that makes me really happy and 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 it and it really does motivate me. So I'd say performing live would probably just inch everything out by a little bit. Okay. And so they, she also said, what would be your happy place five years down the road? So would that be performing just continuing um, as you I are now? I mean, five years down the road from now, I hope I have out a few albums, and I'm – let me rephrase this. In a couple of years from now, I will have out a few albums, and I will be on the road touring, and I will spend a lot of my time touring because that song is – um, on the stage and, and, and with the fans and performing and telling my stories and writing my lyrics and doing my thing. And um, I definitely want to, you know, continue to write for other people because so far it's been a great experience and it's panned out well, and uh, I just hope to be doing those things. Well, we have a question. Uh, Magical Lee um, asks, do you have plans to write and perform any duets, and have you written any duets? I have written... Um, I have written a few duets, actually, and there's one that I think is going to be on this album. Um, oh, nice. And uh, it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. I, I don't want to say too much about it, but it's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I think if there's someone right now that I've, I've, list, I've been listening to that I'm really into and would love to collaborate with, it would be Brandi Carlisle. Oh, yeah. Um, she's a beautiful think, voice. Yeah, I think she's an incredible artist. And, um you know, what got me really sucked in was the um, that song, Josephine, of hers. And mm-hmm. um, the minute I heard, you know, take me back, Josephine, I was like, oh, my <laughs> God, what is what is this? I need this. So I like, I, I yeah. think it's great. And I think she's amazing, and I would love to, to perform um, any any song um, with her would be cool. But there's always other people, I, I, you know, I would, I would collaborate with really anybody that's as passionate about music as I am. I, I'd be interested in performing with them. You know, speaking of Sarah Bareilles, someone like a Sarah Bareilles or Ingrid Michaelson, um, a Regina Spector. You know, there's there's the people I, I've, um, you know, would love to to work with. But you know, really anybody um, that's as passionate as I am about it, w- whether they have a name or not, it doesn't really matter. To right. Me. I just, um, you know, I'm I'm excited to do that. If if we skip back a little bit, you were talking about Ronan Keating. Um, one thing a lot of people might not know is that Ronan Keating is actually a very established song, you know, writer, songwriter himself. So I think that's got to be really a compliment when someone who actually writes their own music loves your music and wants to perform it. But yeah, um, that's a huge honor for me. Like when I when I found out, like originally what was told to me is, you know, there's a UK artist putting out their album and they love this song. We need to send it here. Okay, fine. And when I found out it was Ronan Keating, you know, and, um, you know, he's got so many amazing songs. and it He was really does. He does. He really does. And it was just an honor to be, to be, um, you know, in that even, you know, being talked about as far as songwriting goes in that, in the same sentence. And it's just, it was an honor. And I'm really, really proud of it and really happy. And I'm excited for him. And I'm excited for, um, you know, the whole, the whole project. And it's just really cool. We had a question from, Born to Run 07, and she said, with, lo- with Lullaby being picked up by Ronan Keating, keeping that in mind, how is that done? Do you pitch songs to artists? Is it coincidence? And so I guess you answer that. Honestly, it, 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 it just happens. It just happens. It just, you know, you write songs, they get passed around between writers and people I write with and this and that. And then, you know, um, what happened with me was really, was really crazy because um, I was – really not looking to pitch that song to anybody. And um, it kind of just fell on the desk of the right people, and they loved it for him. And um, it was just a really magical moment for me, and um, it was really exciting. I, you know, I actually found out it was going to be on his album um, <laughs> a couple, like a week before I got married. Um, oh. And, uh, and we were sitting in the florists, <laughs> and, uh-huh. uh, and I got this email, and it was just like, it was just really exciting. It was it was a cool moment, and uh, it was a good feeling, you know, and, and I'm glad that um, – you know, he did it. He did it justice and and some. So I'm I'm really happy about it. Well, Lee Bear uh, Five, she asked, um, with the new songs you have been performing lately, including Lullaby, um, will all of those be on the new album? Um, yeah, like you know the you know um, we'll be all right. Um, fight um, Lullaby. You don't know me. Um, you know Lullaby. We'll see. Um, but you know, a lot of the songs we've been playing um, w- will be on the album, and uh, there's definitely. I mean, there's also the other half that you haven't heard that won't that, 
and, uh, you know, breathing in, I hope to be on the album. Um, you know, all these things are just, you know, stepping stones towards what I hope to be a great album that I can put out. And, uh, you know, um, I'm really excited for everyone to hear the recorded versions of these too, um, because, you know, the magic happens in the studio and, it, it, you know, we write these things, we record, it's just, you know, uh, my process is pretty um, in the moment. So I, I'm really excited for everyone to hear what, what we did. And I worked with some great, great writers. Um, you know, I've, I, a good friend of mine and a, you know, person I've been working with is Drew Pearson. Um, right. I did some work with Luke Laird, um, you know, and, and obviously a lot on my own. So, um, so I'm just really excited about the whole thing. I mean, I, I, it's, it's, it's hard to not be able to give a date on what we're thinking, um, but there is a date we're thinking, but, you know, it's just uh, to play it safe. I'm going to keep it at that, but uh, there are tour dates, and, uh, you know, all those things will just keep this whole train moving. Well, Ladybug55, she you answered her question because she had asked um, if you had recorded Lullaby, so you obviously did record Lullaby in the studio. I have. Um, now, we also had um, Yo-Yo Sassy. She wanted to know if there was a message you would like to send to the music industry through your album, and what changes would you like to see happen in the music industry? Well, I think the music industry is in a very um, fragile place right now. Um, Mm -hmm. I think not just labels, but I think the industry itself is kind of scared. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think think the industry is playing it safe. Um, Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I think that, you know, I I don't want to call it indie music, but what, you know, I guess most people would consider the indie scene – um, I feel is making a comeback, but I don't really consider indie. Indie, I can. I mean, it is indie, I guess, but I consider it more of you know the singer songwriter storytellers are are kind of making a comeback, and it it's really good for me to see that um, and, and feel that. But I think if, if, if there's a message I'm trying to send, I wouldn't say I'm deliberately making this album to send a message, but um, I challenge any you know person that you want to say in the media or whoever that that is an authority on these things, self-proclaimed or not, um, to to listen to this album I'm going to put out and, and say that um, the music's not there. Um, and, and I'm not saying that in an arrogant way. I'm just saying, you know, I look at Live It Up and I look at things I've done previously. And, um, you know, I've, I've really put thought and heart and my soul into this album. And I think... If anything, I'm trying to say is that if you can't tell that I, I put that into this album, then, um, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. But, you know, I hope the music industry, you know, I'm not, but, but, but truthfully, I'm not really putting this album out or thinking about what the media is going to say. Like, I'm really not right. worried about that. And anyone that follows me and knows me knows that, I mean, I love the support of, of media and I love, you know, any any press, you know, that, that they're, you know, putting out, whether it be good or bad, I don't care because truthfully, you know, I, I think people are entitled to their opinions yes. and it's in music's an expression and people are allowed to accept it or not accept it. But, you know, I'm not putting this album out to like prove anything. I think that um, I'm putting it out to prove something to myself, definitely. Um, but I'm not going after the media or going after the industry to prove this, that, the other thing. I think there's, I think there's some amazing artists that are out right now. And I think that there's some incredible music out there, and I think that there's a lot of talent, and I think that the talent's still there. I just think that, um, you know, I think that uh, I'm, I'm glad to be part of it, and, and I'm glad to know that um, when I put this album out, I'll be able to stand behind it more than I've ever stood behind anything else in my entire life. So I'm excited about that. No, I think that your fans are very excited about that, too. Um, we had a question from Jen Harding. She said, do you have to be in a certain mood to write? And do you consider Jonna your muse? Um, well, I'll start with the, the question about Jonna. Uh, you know, I would say she she's an inspiration to me, definitely, um, and, and a big motivator for me um, mm-hmm. just as far as, you know, having the relationship we have. I mean, it's very close and it's very, um, you know, it's it's special. Uh, and to say that that doesn't, you know, influence me or motivate me or, or you know, 
inspire me would be just, you know, bullshit. I mean, it really, it, it, she's, she's you're like, you your know, number one cheerleader. Yeah, I mean, she is, and she's my number, she's, she's like, she's the number, number one in my life, and, and, um, you know, I, and, and I try to be the same for her, and, and so, yeah, she really does, I mean, inspire me big time, but, um, as far as being in a certain mood to write, I think, I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, there are times when I, I swear to God, there are times where I look at my guitar, I'm like, I'm never playing again, you know? Oh, I'll really? Writing, yeah, I mean, I'll be writing a song and I, it goes nowhere and I'll just, you know, just set it down and I'm like, I'm not, I'm done, I'm never, I'm never, I'm never going to write that song again. That song's done. And then I'll come back to it tomorrow, the next day or when I'm feeling good or feeling bad, you know? Like, it's, I mean, the way I'm, the mood I'm in definitely influences um, and, and, and is inspiring, whether it be a good thing or a bad thing, um, you definitely got to be in a certain mood, at least for me. I don't know about everybody else, but for me, it's just, it's a feeling. It's a feeling and it's a, and it's, um, you know, it's, it's the way I feel about music. I mean, it's easy to write, you know, um, it's easy to write, just sit down and like write a song or like whatever, just play some lyrics and whatever. But when you want, I want meaning behind it. And, you know, sometimes people ask me like a lot of your songs seem to have this like, some are sure more really sad, you know, and it's just like, well, generally when I'm sitting at home by myself, you know, um, you know, I, 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 when you're like, it, you, you kind of put yourself in a mood on purpose, I guess you could say. Like, mm-hmm. I, I do a lot of my writing at night. Um, I thought, I wondered about that because I know you sometimes will come on and I'll see you've posted where it's, you know, one o'clock in the morning. I thought, well, you know, probably writing. Yeah, and I mean, I stay up till four in the morning writing songs. I, I, at nighttime for me, whatever reason, I just I'm in a different mood, and um, and I love doing that. But you know, I have to be dead honest as far as fans go. You know, fans are a huge motivation and inspiration for me too. And I'm not just saying that. I'm not just blowing smoke. Like realistically, when I go on Twitter or Facebook or just anywhere, and I see fans saying how much they support me and appreciate me and 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 respect me as an artist and you know, you know, there's a mutual, it's mutual, you know, I, I appreciate them and respect them and, and, and all those things. And when I see that, when I see the effect the song can have on somebody or, or what I'm doing can have on somebody, it just motivates me times 10 to go sit there and write a song or to put myself in one of those moods. And, um, and, and I love my fans and, you know, I know people say that and I've said it and it's just, I really do love and appreciate every single one of them, and and without them, I wouldn't be doing this, and I wouldn't be here. So, I mean, that's, that's for me, like, first and foremost, and, and it's really important that they know that. And um, they're not just fans, they're friends, and they're, you know, um, my motivation and an inspiration. So um, That was else. actually one of the fans had written um, Canadian Cookie 3. She said, uh, Lee, you brought a family together from all over the world, what does that mean to you, and how does it affect your music? So that's a perfect explanation, I think, for that question. I mean, when I see that, it brings people together like that. I mean, it just, you know, I, I've gotten choked up before reading some of the things that fans write. I'm just like, wow, like, you know, they have, I have a biggest impact in their life as they do in mine. And, and that, to me, is just, you know, it's really, it's a special thing. I'm glad, I'm glad that um, I have such dedicated fans. Um, and as dedicated as they are to me, I am just as dedicated to them, and that's why I'm happy to get out there again and get on the road and put out this album. I mean, I'm not just doing it for me. Um, I'm doing it for, for all of them as well, and and I hope they know that. Well, I think that they do. Um, there's was I got a lot of questions about, you know, fans and how it connects to the music. Um, Tiger Vixen, she said, why do you personally think connecting with fans are are so important and by the way you do an awesome job and we appreciate you very much and uh but i had there was this was a good question i thought um mayor catsip she said uh do you have any thoughts on letting fans see a recording session or a studio session in the future i do um that's been a plan of mine for a long time i'm going to be in the studio in the next couple of weeks um and i plan on um either you streaming it or just taping it and posting it, but I'd, I'd like to you stream it. Um, just a writing session, like maybe like th- like 20 minutes of me in a writing session so people can kind of see how I work and, and just the process and, and be be a part of it. And um, I'm excited for that. Yeah, because I think a lot of people, I mean, me included, you know, have really no idea what the process 
is, you know, from blank piece of yeah, paper. I would, to, I, would, I would love to open up that door and let people see what it's like and, and be a part of it. And, um, you know, I, I also want to add just, you know, that where I've been and, like, what I've been through to get to this point when, when it, with writing and music and everything, I, I want everyone to know I'm in a very, very happy place with, 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 with where I'm at. I mean, um, I, and I've said it before in past interviews, you know, you know, I, this is like this and that's like that. But I think that I've been, I've kind of, I've been through it and I've come out the other side and, and I'm really happy to be moving forward. Um, and, 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 um, you know, just positivity, just trying to surround myself with positivity. Um, you know, good, good ideas, like, like, you know, you streaming a, a, a session and, you know, it's all positive from here on out. And I think that, you know, there's definitely a message that I'm even putting out in my music, which is, you know, um, I'm trying to, you know, send a message about being caught. Like, even in the song, we'll be all right. You know, if we take the time to find the silver lining, we can make these crying waters into wine. And it's just right. things like that. It's like, you know, that's my message right now. Peace, love, <laughs> happiness, and positivity. You know what I mean? That's, that's, where I'm, that's what I'm about right now. Have you um, made any decisions about what your first single will, is going to be? I mean, I don't not to tell us, but um, I didn't know if that decision had been made yet. Uh, no, uh, I mean it's kind of been made in my mind, but I mean people just the way I, I don't want to say anything. How do you decide on that? Do you kind of test the songs and see which gets got, you know has the best response or? How do they decide what song to pick off of? You know, because on an album you can have, you know, 16 songs. I, it's, you know, it's, how a many? Of, it's a number of different things that go into that. But, you know, um, I think the first single will be first of, you know, a few singles. And um, I think it, I think we'll, we'll make the right decision when that time comes. And um, I hope the fans, um, you know, like it and and, uh, and, 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 and it all works. Um, Sideways Savage asks, um, are any of the songs that you wrote in Nashville going to be on the album? Yes. Okay. Because I think that maybe during the, um, when you were in Nashville, you had posted a few times that, that you had, you know, were actually doing some writing out there. Oh, I did a lot of writing um, out there. And there will be songs um, that you'll probably, uh, there are songs I, writ- I, I wrote and, and that you'll hear on my album, and there's probably songs that you'll hear on some other people's albums. So. Oh, nice. So um, we we'll just have a few more questions uh, I wanted to get in, and then I really appreciate you giving us so much time. Um, oh, no, and I'll take this time right now to also thank you for everything you do. I think that um, without you, uh, I, you know, they, they talk about this family and all these things, but, you know, you you, you brought a lot of people together, and, and, and you've really been, you know, the, the biggest supporter um, anyone could ever ask for, and I just want to let you know that I appreciate that very oh, much. Oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate I appreciate our friendship too. It's been fun. Um, Sarah Davies, thirty seven. She says, "Do you plan on doing any live shows in the UK?" Yes, I do. Um, I have I have big plans, uh, whether it be um, sooner or later, but to to come back to. Um, you know, because I went to I went to Paris and I played a, a gig there, which was cool. Um, right. And but I, I definitely have plans to go back. I really like to go to the UK. I like to go to Ireland. I'd like to uh, uh, do a European type thing um, and possibly hit Asia and again. But I think that's all going to be in time. And I, I do have plans to do that. Um, I've also thought about you know doing another um, stage at show in the future, um, in, in the middle of the night, kind of. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, so oh, for the overseas fans. Yeah, because I, I, I thought about it afterwards, and I was like, you know, if there's overseas fans, I didn't get a chance, you know, to watch it because it's like 4 in the morning. So I plan on um, doing something like that for them as well. So it's going to be cool, and I, and I hope to make it back over there. And uh, I, I would say, yeah, I do plan on, I plan on coming out there and playing, definitely. Well, and I know last year uh, when you toured over in Malaysia and Indonesia, those uh, you got a great response. Um, it looked like you had a – I mean, we were just looking at photos, of course, over here, but – it looked like the shows were just jam packed and you know balconies filled with people and that was pretty awesome. Yeah, it was an awesome feeling and they're great over there. I love I love all the people I met out there and uh, I'm just super super excited to get back over there and do it again. Um, the Rice Man Six, um, she said, "What is your favorite type of venue to play?" 
type of venue to play? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think my yeah. favorite type of venue to play is um, one jam-packed with people. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think my favorite type of venue to play is, is one. I mean, it's hard to say because I really just like playing. But um, I love the old theaters. I love, like, the halls. Um, yeah. You know, I love those types of places, and uh, you know, like Gramercy was awesome in New York. I really love that place, and um, you know, I'm really excited. I mean, we will be playing several shows in New York, uh, and I'm really excited about that. Um, also, I think the nice, the nice thing about those theater-sized venues is that it's so much more intimate than those huge arenas, you know, where right, you're looking down at people that are six inches tall. When I look at careers and people that I, I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say idolize, but people that I respect. Um, that's the kind of things they're doing. And, um, you know, I wouldn't say that that's, I prefer that, but there's something about, you know, I'd, an intimate show with five, 500 people, you know, right. from, from 100 people to 500 people that I really like. And, and I think there's a connection you get with an audience, and I'm just really excited to, to do that. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I, like I said, I'm just really happy to be back on, to be getting back on the road this year and, um, we hope that, I, I, you know, we're trying to get out to Connecticut. Um, there's there's a couple different places we're looking at, but, you know, it's it's we're going to do the best we can. And then once, you know, obviously the music is out, um, we plan on doing even more next year. I mean, we're already looking at uh, January of next year, and um, we're really excited about it. And so when you when they kind of finalize uh, the tour, I guess they'll finalize it and then possibly add, you know, like they did last time. And then as the tour went on, they added, you know, more venues to it. But I mean, every, day, every, day, every day we're talking about new venues and um, new places to play, and it's always a constantly changing thing. But to have the people uh, I'm working with, and um, and 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 the, uh, from my manager to my booking agent, um, you know, it's all it's all been such a, a great, exciting feeling on on all ends that um, you know, it, it's it's hard for me to say anything negative about anything. I mean, it's just been such a good feeling, and. Um, you know, I just have a huge respect for all those people that I've been working with, and, and um, you know, it's it, we're all on the same page, so it feels good. And I think that um, I think that you had mentioned to me at some point that when everything got fi- finalized, that you would be posting um, that on the on your Facebook and your Twitter uh, link yeah, to the a- uh, tours. Then you- yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be posting dates probably the next week or so, week or two. And um, okay. you know, those will, and that, that and it doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be all of the dates, but we're going to be getting some dates out there definitely. And uh, you know, I'm really excited about it. It's going to be cool. Uh, Gator Girl five zero two eight. She said on the tour, will will you be touring with anyone else? And um, I don't know if she meant, but you did say Lincoln was coming with you, right? Yeah, Lincoln's going to come with me. He's going to sing backup vocals. Um, oh, nice. I didn't know Lincoln sang backup. I'm, back I'm, I'm just kidding. Lincoln's not going to sing backup. Okay. Oh. <laughs> He's just gonna play, okay. Yeah, All no, right, he's, yeah, he's cool. Lincoln, you know, not to say about as far as Lincoln goes, he's we have a very, very, very special chemistry between the two of us. Um, we really understand each other musically, and 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 we really get it. Um, we can be playing. I, I could probably play an entire show without ever looking at him once, and him looking. We could play a show facing opposite ways, and not skip a beat. And that's just because we've been playing so long together. But it's also we are both. When, I mean, if you watch Lincoln play, you know, his eyes close and he's in it too. You know, he feels the music as well. So we're both in that same boat and we both love it. And so, yeah, it'll be me and Lincoln. And, um, um, you know, hopefully we see a, a guest appearance from Miyagi, but we'll see where, uh, we'll see, we'll see where that's going. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, um, we hope to be doing a lot of these shows. We'll probably be, um, I'll be headlining them or, you know, just me or with, with other artists, but, um, Either way, they'll be they'll be you know anywhere from you know an hour plus as far as the shows go. And um, you know I plan on playing music. This is the first time I actually plan on playing music from all of the, all the albums I've ever put out and new music. So I plan on playing things from um, you know So I'm Told, Slumberland, uh, you yeah, know nice. Live It Up, yeah. and this new music. So right now my main focus is just getting this new music out. That's really my number one focus right now, simply because I'm I, I think it's I think it's it's really going to make a statement about where I'm at and what I'm doing. And I think that the fans are going to love it. I love it. Um, I hope the fans love it. Um, but, um, again, you know, the best part about touring is being able to see all the fans and I know that they're going to make it special. Um, and I'm going to do my best to make it special and, uh, it'll be fun. Well, I got, you know, when I did this shout out for questions, I got, I can't tell you how many hundreds of not questions, but more just messages, you know, 
people wanting you to know how much they love the new music and how much they're how excited they are for the live shows. And so I think that there's a real positive vibe, you know, going around in your fan base and with a lot of new people, you know, that hadn't heard you previously because not everybody watches American Idol, you know. And um so I think that that's really good. Um there one fan did write me and asked me, she said to really encourage you to do a radio head creep cover if you're gonna do a cover song for your next stage of show. Um, and then well, I I'll work on that. I I I've been I've actually I've said something about that in the past. I've been wanting to do that cover for a long time. Uh I think I think I will. That's a good idea. I like that idea. That is so. a great song. I love that song. And I saved Max's question for last because uh, because it's Max's question. And Max said, Lee, if the world were really to end on December twenty first and you were given a chance to sing one of your songs in front of the world to bring people to peace, what song would it be? It's Max, Lee. Wow. Okay. Uh, if I was to play one of my songs. In Max always world. has great questions. Put it this way. If I knew the world was ending on December 21st, I would see... I, I would, I would, my answer would be I'd probably write a song specifically to bring the whole world together like that. But if I had to pick okay. one that, I mean, I guess if I, that I've written, it would probably be, um, oh, man, that's a really hard question. Uh, boy, that's a really hard question. Um, I'd say off out of my new music, um, I think it will be all right. I, I don't know. I don't. That's a tough no, that was that. That might be a good one. We'll be all right. That would be really fitting. I mean, that's, that's a song about you know being positive and finding the silver lining and things, and um, you know, kind of says they don't know our hearts and and you know and all those things. And it's really just about kind of standing your ground and and being you know um, through you know love and and all that good stuff. But uh, I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Maybe. Um, I mean, to, to go a little retro on you, I could probably say predicament, maybe. Um, oh yeah, that's fitting too. Um, that's that's, but that's. I mean, you know, I don't know. I I, I, pro- I would probably write a new one. <laughs> um, not that any of these wouldn't, but you know, that's a cool idea, and I mean, it, it would it would it would spark me to write. It'd spark, spark you to write, write. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't really have um, any more questions. I appreciate you giving us so much time. I actually have kind of one personal question. I was wondering was that. Um, do you think during the holidays you'll be um, doing, I don't any, well, you know how here I think it was two years ago you did the uh, Graceland, and so we got some video of you doing some Christmas songs. And so I just wondered if you thought that maybe you would do any Christmas songs this Christmas season because everyone loved it. I do have, I do have plans to do a few Christmas songs. I do. I actually, I've been thinking a lot about that, and I, I do have plans to do that. And um, when that time comes, you know, people will, People will hear, and hopefully they'll like it. But uh, I, I also plan on doing some some shows around the holidays. So it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a cool year. I mean, it's been a great year for me so far. Um, you know, obviously getting married, and and um, you know that's that's been an amazing experience. And um, just, someone just and someone cool. recorded your song, and you got a new album and a new tour, and yeah, there's a lot of positive things going on. But you know, you never want to get too ahead of yourself, and you always want to be uh, grateful for anything. And um, Right now, I'm just appreciating the 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 the, the planets and, and the way they choose to align themselves, and, and being grateful and thankful to you know um, God and 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 uh, and to to uh, of course all of the fans that have made this just an amazing you know journey, if you will, and 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 just for always being there and, and showing their support. I, I mean, I appreciate it more than uh, I could ever express in uh, in an interview. So. Um, well, thank you so that, much. Yeah, of course. And um, I'll leave this open, too, is that uh, during um, a tour, you know, if you want, we can always uh, call in and do little tour updates and, you know, kind of like a little retor- recorded uh, yeah, I've, tour. I've got, some, I've, got some, I've got some plans to keep a little video kind of uh, a video diary, if you will, um, while I'm on the road. And uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be really fun. I can promise you that. All right. Well, you keep us... Uh, updated and um, we'll be hearing from you soon I guess with the live shows so I think that everyone will be really excited about that well awesome and uh, I appreciate you uh, you know taking the time and uh, um, of course I'm always happy to, to give you mine and um, you know it's it's, uh, it's going to be fun so I'm looking forward to all this stuff and uh, I'll be talking to you soon alright thanks Lee I'll talk to you soon
You got it. Bye-bye.